Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on August 19th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another very quiet sun. That's right, still zero sunspots. Small geomagnetic activity expected from the southern coronal hole. But that is about it. Still very quiet. But for earthquakes, definitely things have increased, especially across South America. As most recent, we had a 4.2 in Chile. Also pretty sizable earthquakes here, South Sandwich Islands, Bristol Islands, 5.1 and a 5.2, 4.7 in Peru, and a 5.0 in Ecuador yesterday. So very active South America, very active Central America and North America. I haven't reported for two days. So here, let's just get it to the 72 hours. This is the last three days for earthquakes from around the world. Pretty sizable, notable 5.9 here. Northern Mariana Islands at a 48 kilometer depth. And our deepest earthquake, the last 72 hours here. 4.6 Nadoi Island, Fiji, 602 kilometers in depth. So pretty active east side of the Ring of Fire recently, as well throughout parts of Alaska, Russia, and North America. Still watching small earthquakes and bridge crest as well. Let's get to the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. And this is what it looks like. The deep earthquake movement has kind of slowed down a bit. But definitely most of the action the last few days has been in South America, Central America, and North America. Especially with that 5.4 off the coast of Oregon. And now we're going to look at the last seven days visible image over North America. And watching the day after day thunderstorm development throughout the upper Midwest United States. And the cool down starting throughout northern Alberta and BC. Snow is falling. And then watch for wind and rain to pick up along the BC coastline. In the coming days, landfall Tuesday night into Wednesday, could see some pretty strong winds with this associated low pressure system. And I just wanted to show you the winds here for the next five days, as there is a pretty sizable low pressure system coming off of the Atlantic provinces in Canada. And then watch for this large beast of a low to hit parts of Ireland and the United Kingdom come next Tuesday into Wednesday. Now let's just have a look at the Southern Hemisphere. By the way, this is uh, windy.com. This is an app that you can download or stream from your internet on your laptop. And it shows everything from satellite to wind to waves. And just look at the winds in the southern hemisphere whipping up these huge low pressure systems. And it's not calming down. Let's just switch it over to waves. Wave height. As you can see, not much in the northern hemisphere, but then you get to the southern hemisphere and it's just like, whoa! That's five, six meter height in waves. All those red, 
white is up to 9 to 10 meters in waves. Crazy stuff, guys. Thanks for joining me. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Overlooking the area of interest off the coast of Mexico. And is projected to head straight up the coastline. We'll see what happens. Very strange hurricane season, Pacific and Atlantic. So it's hard to say anyway. And overlooking United States southeastern united states and the seaboard watch for pop-up thunderstorms during the days and then watch for extreme weather across ontario and northern ontario into quebec later in the week and then you see that long line of moisture cutting alberta and saskatchewan in half and that's from this low pressure system coming from the north should be some pretty interesting weather throughout Alberta later in the week West Pacific watching a couple areas of interest here one off the coast of Manila Philippines and then one just behind it as well we could have three typhoons within seven days here in the West Pacific watching things dramatically change that's for sure across Myanmar and India still devastating monsoon season millions of people have been, dis been displaced hundreds have lost their lives throughout parts of India Europe the cool down still continuing watch for it to extend as that large low pressure system comes from the north brings a lot of rain and wind associated with it you can see here a five day forecast possible Atlantic hurricane development later in the week right there off the coast of Africa those are the kind of signatures that we're looking for throughout South America not much to talk about except daily evaporation things have pretty much calmed down in Argentina for the snowfall amounts still dealing with some very cold temperatures though and another snowstorm coming to Argentina I want to thank everybody for watching and supporting this channel, Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. And I apologize, I'm not able to do it every day as I say I am going to, but I'm trying my best. This isn't my full-time job. I would love it to be, but unfortunately, YouTube just doesn't pay enough. So thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.